Any tips or tricks for improved one-handed pistol shooting? Strong or weak hand, how often do I practice one-handed shooting? Practice one-handed shooting every time I go to the range, even if it's just to shoot a couple of rounds or, or whatever. Um, I consider it complete. Uh, I consider it very important. Uh, I do apply a little bit of inboard cant uh, when I'm shooting with one handed um, be because I was taught to do that. And because I was told that when you um, do that, and I think this goes back to like the old 1911 days. So when you had your arm locked out, uh, and you were shooting uh, the old 45 that as the gun bucked, sometimes it would recoil out in a way this way, and sometimes it would recoil out in a way this way, and sometimes it would come straight up and down. And I think somebody along the way decided that if you canted the gun and broke your elbow instead of having it completely locked out, slightly broke your elbow, that physics would dictate that the gun would recoil and return more flatly and consistently every time. Uh, and I don't know if that's bullshit or not. I know that I trained tens of thousands of rounds uh, and I did it the way that my instructors told me to, and I can shoot my pistol one-handed well, uh, left or, or right-handed. Um, I put a picture up the other day. Uh, I did a, uh, I did, uh, a string, I did a 10 shot string of, uh, I'm right-handed of left hand only on Mantis where I, uh, scored over 97, uh, 10, 10, 10 pulls, uh, with, uh, offhand only. Um, so I, I can, I can, I can shoot, I can shoot one handed pretty good. And I, it's because I shoot it a lot. Um, once you get over the timing issue of breaking your wrist early and driving guns off tar, uh, rounds off target, uh, and you get to where you can uh, center punch, then the next step is, all right, you, you probably did that through a combination of, you know, uh, adding a little bit more finger and then, uh, a really, really solid and consistent trigger prep where you're taking that gun all the way to 99% and then you're breaking the last 1%. Uh, a lot of these techniques that prevent uh, you from psychologically breaking the wrist uh, pre-ignition, uh, they don't lend themselves well to rapid fire. So uh, when you practice, after you get good shooting left hand and, and right hand, or strong hand and other strong hand or whatever the fuck, your next goal, if you can keep them in the black at 25 yards shooting with one hand slowly is to go to 10 yards and see if you can fire, uh, you know, five shots from the holster in under five seconds uh, from 10 yards and not snatch one of them bitches all the way uh, down into the D zone of a fucking uh, IPSC or USPSA uh, target. Uh, the, the recoil mitigation, not, not just the recoiling mitigation to be able to track the gun back and find your dot, which can be hard. Shooting red dot pistol weak handed is really hard. You can lose that dot and burn a lot of time on the clock. But the other piece of that is you've got to at some point learn to compress whatever the fuck you were doing to finesse that gun to not – uh, and I'm going to use the term jerk the shit out of that trigger when we know there's no such thing as jerking your fucking trigger. I'm talking about pre anticipation of the gun going off, causing a breaking of the wrist, a driving of the fucking barrel downward left of bank movement of the gun pre ignition, uh, based off a mental command to stop that gun's recoil before the recoil actually happens. Whatever you do to make it not do that, probably going to be harder to do fast. So that's the key. Once you go to the right class, get the right guy that explains it to you in the right way, and then you practice it. <coughs> and now you're like, God damn, dude. I just put up a 90 fucking strong hand only at 25 yards. That's cool. Slow fire. 
Nice. Now go to 10 and shoot that shit faster. Come out of the fucking holster. Bam, 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 bam. You shoot him in the dick? Probably. So it's never ending, man. It's never ending. You just got that. Now I got something else I got to do. I got to get this breaking wrist anticipation thing and I got to compress it and be able to do it in a shorter timeline because I ain't got no time to be fucking about right now. This shit's rapid fire. 